Hi everyone, my name is Mary Green and I've been invited to do a song video for you, one of my most favorite songs. And immediately when Kim invited me to do this, I had the perfect song to share with you. Um, I'm standing here in the education unit because to tell you the truth, this is where I spend most of my time. I teach Sunday school classes, I've led some adult classes, and I've also participated in a lot of adult classes. And I love this room because we have children's Sunday school here every Sunday, and we also have our wonderful Wednesday night events for kids. And this is my favorite thing in this whole room, and I'm gonna explain why. I was not raised in a tradition of learning the Bible or reading scripture. And so in my 20s, when my husband Chuck and I decided to change churches, we took a walk one night and came upon a small United Methodist Church, which we suddenly decided to take our family to. When we got into the church, we noticed everybody had Bibles and we didn't. So we went to a wonderful store called Brian and stood in front of the gigantic wall of Bibles and picked Bibles. I picked the Bible that said, good news. Because I thought, good news, what can go wrong with that? So I take my Bible to church, and this wonderful saint of a woman came to me and said, how are you doing with your new Bible? And I said, um, I don't know where to start. And she said, oh, that's easy. She said, pray the Psalms every night. Those are a wonderful way to end your day. And in the morning, read from the Proverbs. They give you wonderful wisdom tidbits to lead your everyday life. And so I thought, that I can do, that's a plan. So I did that. A couple months later, somebody said to me, would you like to lead a children's Sunday school class? And I thought, um, I could probably do that. I have children, I know most of the stories, but I didn't know all of this. I couldn't, I never memorized the books of the Bible, and I never learned that wonderful song that everybody talks about, where the kids sing really, really fast every book in the Bible with this really catchy tune. I don't know that song. And so I was really nervous. And again, I said, well, how do I start the class? And they said, well, it's good to open with the prayer. Another red flag, I had never in my life prayed an unscripted prayer. But I thought to myself what that wonderful woman said to me, the Psalms make great prayers. And so I went to my Bible, my Good News Bible, and I found this one Psalm, and I thought to myself, God's telling me I need to say this to these kids. And so I did. This is taken from Psalm 34, which in my um, Bible is called In Praise of God's Good. So these are the verses that I prayed, prayed in that very first Sunday school class that I taught. Come, my young friends, and listen to me, and I will teach you to honor the Lord. Would you like to enjoy life? Do you want long life and happiness? Then keep from speaking evil and telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Strive for peace with all of your heart. That just said everything to me in that moment. Number one, it took my fear away, and it made me so assured that whatever I, whatever these children learned that day was gonna encompass something in these few phrases. And when I look at all the books in this lovely library that, the God, that God gave us called the Bible, I think you could take any one of these lovely verses and apply them to anything that you read in these books. The other thing I really liked about these verses is this is an invitation. It's a sweet, loving invitation. Come, my young friends, listen to me. It's not an order. It's not a command. It's certainly not a threat. Just an invitation. And so I would invite you today to read these verses. And then I would invite you to accept the invitation. And when you do, good things will fall.